Hi Pilates friends, we have a fascial Pilates full body workout for you today. We've done fascial workouts before, so go ahead and check out the links above. Please like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on more workouts. Have a good workout. Say hello. So we don't have any equipment that is needed for today's workout. We're going to start by standing up, doing our spinal rotation. So you're just going to bounce your knees softly and swing your body from side to side, letting your sternum rotate, but also looking straight forward. So just getting that nice mobility through your thoracic spine. Then we're going to add some alternating feet to lift as you swing your opposite foot and opposite arm. You're keeping your core engaged here, but this is really about just kind of opening up the muscles that are getting fluid and circulation through the back. Now we're gonna do our body bounce. So this is exactly what it is. You're just tapping your heels up and down and you're gonna feel kind of your organs bouncing around inside your torso. You're gonna feel a nice kind of vibration through the body. Okay, now we are going to head into our squats. So send the hips back and find your center, making sure that your feet are in parallel position. Track your knees over the toes, just like I would always say in every other video, just making sure that you keep that good neutral spine and alignment of the legs. Keeping that glute connection and ab connection on as you lift up into your full neutral position. All right, next is our wide squat shift. So you're just going to bend from the hips, just like in a regular squat, but you're gonna shift your body to one side and then alternate. So really driving through the heel into your, uh, into that shift to the other side. Okay, now we're going to head into our grand plies. So bending the knees, making sure your back is upright. You're going to keep the core nice and tight. Shoulders are back, you're in neutral. And it's kind of like you're sliding up and down a wall or up and down a toaster. So your knees are tracking over the second toes. As always, glutes and abs are firing on the way up and squeezing at the top. Good, last one I think, or last one here. Nope, that's the last one. Okay, next one is our um, grand plie with the arms added. So we're just doing tin man arms as you bend and come back to center with your arms in first position. Yes. So this one is to kind of open up the chest there. We're getting our posture nice and set. Good. And press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Inhale. That looks great. Keep those shoulders locked behind you and make sure that your butt is still turning on the first thing at the bottom. Yes. Keep zipping through those low abs. Keep going here. All right, now we're gonna do our grand plie plus the lateral flexion. So you're just gonna bend up and overhead and release. And up and overhead, beautiful and release. So we're keeping your shoulders squared to the front. We don't want any rotation that happens in the spine. We just want a pure lateral bend. Yes. So really getting that mobility through the spine, keeping the hips in a stable position. Knees are still locked over the toes and it's just your upper body moving on top of your stable pelvis making sure that your abs are tight and pulled in. Low back is neutral still. Keep going there, almost finished. All right, we are going to do our grand plie plus the rotation. So start with your hands in first position and open up one arm to the side as you twist your whole sternum that direction and then find your center, leaving that other hand in front of you. Keep going there. So again, everything from the belly button down is not moving at all. It's just the upper body. So it's your 
your abs that are making this motion happen. All right, we are standing up tall again. Do we have one more up here? Nope, we're going down to the mat. Okay, our next one is going to be our regular ab prep. So hands up to the ceiling, nod the chin, flex forward and flex into your upper ab contraction. Yes. So you're sliding the rib cage forward. Yes. Uh, did I put my leg? Yeah, legs are down. Flex it forward and release it. Nod the chin forward. Bring the rib cage towards the hips and inhale as you release it. Exhale, nod the chin, flex the rib cage forward and inhale as you release. For this one, we want to make sure that the neutral or the, the spine in your low back is nice and maintained. We want to keep the curve and you're just bending through the upper back. So you have a curve up there and the curve in the low back. No smashing it into the mat behind you. You should feel a nice deep ab connection here. All right, next move is going to be our fascial ab prep. So reaching in front of you, flex forward, hands are squeezing together. You're just gonna rock your body from side to side. So we rock the upper body side to side, making sure that you're really getting the shoulders to rotate. Yes, it should be a kind of fun motion, a fun motion to do just because we are moving in a very primal way, just like we like to do in all our fascial movements. All right, take a little rest. And then we're going to come up into another ab position. I don't remember which one. Uh, oh, regular 100, I think. Yes, go ahead and, oh, 100 prep, excuse me. We're going to nod the chin and extend the arms and legs out in front of you. Inhale as you bring it back in. Perfect, lengthen it out and bring it back in and stretch inhale exhale as you press it out and bring it in good making sure that your legs only go as low as your pelvis will allow we don't want your hips to rock out of place or all right our next one is going to be our beat so we're tapping those heels together with your hands behind your head. This is so intense. You're gonna feel the burn pretty quickly. You can lower your legs if you don't feel it, but you're gonna feel it for sure. So keep going there. Yes, keep breathing. Inhale through your rib cage and exhaling. Yep, there we go, relax it there. Yeah, it is killer. Okay, now we're moving on to our fascial hundred. Okay, this one is always hard for me to get into, so you can see that I'm a little bit confused. So opposite arm and opposite leg are going to extend and you're gonna pulse them at the same time. So we inhale two, three, four, exhale two, three, four. We're doing five sets of 10 here in this position. So really holding that ab connection. Hopefully you feel it all in the core. Low abs are on. Okay, now we're going to Rotate to the side, okay? Reaching out in front of you with that top arm, bottom leg is going to do our pulsing with the top arm. And if your coordination is not really wanting to coordinate with you for this one, that's okay. It just takes a little bit of practice. So keep doing this workout and you'll definitely feel the rhythm a little bit better. But you're gonna feel it in your inner thighs pretty quickly and you're gonna keep the hips as stacked as possible. We, <laughs> possible. we don't want our hips to rock out of place. All right, go ahead and flip onto your back again. We're gonna extend that opposite arm and opposite leg, the other one that we did not just do, and we're pulsing those hands and feet at the same time. And inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Just keep breathing in that natural pattern. Your abs are going to hold on to your flexion while your rib cage is expanding to allow for the breath to happen. Good, keep going there. Keep the shoulder locked in place as you pulse it. All right, go ahead and flip onto your other side. Yes, bottom leg is extended, top arm is out. We are pulsing. Exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, Five, really feel that pelvic floor closing and lifting inside you, holding that pelvis still. You're also working your spinal stabilizers, so pretty much everything here is on. 
Yes, our fascia loves the bouncing as well. Keep going, we're almost done. Oh, we are done. <laughs> okay, yeah, that top is just very problematic. Okay, anyway, we are moving on to another ab workout, or sorry, we're doing our hip lift fascial version. So feet are out wider than normal. Start with your legs out wide, press into your lift, close the knees together, they are touching, and then lower the hips together. You're kind of making a circle with the knees. So you're going out, lift, close, lower. Out, lift, close, lower. Keep going there. It's great for mobility in your hips. All right, you get all, yep, and then we're reversing. There we go, we close the knees, lift it up, open and lower. Close, lift, open and lower. Beautiful, yes. Yeah. Make sure it's your butt and your abs making this work happen. We don't want your rib cage to pop out. No arching of the back to make the hips lift into the air. It's all in your pelvis and the abs. All right, we are going to move on to our shoulder bridge. So you're on your back, your feet are down, and we're going to have your hands down by your sides. We're lifting your hips up into the air and you're gonna swing your leg up and down. So go ahead and hinge it up. Reach the right arm or leg up to the ceiling. We lower to flex, point to lift. Two, up, last one. Bend that knee, switch to the other side. We are alternating each time after three little lowers and bend. But keeping the hips as still as possible, your butt should be engaging here, not your hamstring cramping up because that is not what we want. Keeping your abs super tight here. Good. And other side, lift it up. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift, and a lower, and lift. Last one. Up, bend, and switch. All right, relax from there. All right, our next one is going to be another butt one, I'm pretty sure. Nope, we are doing our single leg circle. Okay, so we're going opposite or one direction, down and around, and then switch directions other way around. So keeping your hips as still as possible, down and around, and then other way. Yes, just breathing however feels natural to you. Um, as long as you can hold your hips still, so both sides of your butt are fully attached to the mat behind you, your rib cage is also stable. It's very, very challenging, especially if you do this correctly. It's, you're gonna feel it for sure. Down, deep in your abs. A little bit in the legs is okay, but we, but we wanna feel it mostly in your abs. Yes, go ahead and switch to the other side. We go down and around and down and around. Beautiful. Yes, just pulling back with that opposite hip to counter that rotation that the hips want to do with that leg that's swinging out to the side. Down and around. All right, I think we're almost done here. Down and around. And we are gonna bend that knee, relax for a second. We are on to our stutter feet. So back into the hip lift position. We go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in with the legs. Ready, out, out, in, in, go for it. Keep going, keep the butt on. You're gonna feel this pretty quickly too. As long as you can press through the hips, opening up the front of the hips, your butt is on keeping the shoulders flat behind you because all the tension goes there or all the weight of your body goes there and into your feet. But go ahead and pause from there. Relax. Whew, take a little breather. All right, we're flipping on to our side and we're gonna do our side leg lift. So we point to lift the leg and flex to lower it. And you're only lifting as high as you can maintain that top hip on top of the bottom. So if your leg doesn't go as high as you would like for it to, do not worry, you just want to keep the hips still. That is the goal. And then you're gonna feel it a little bit in your side butt too. Lift and lower, and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Perfect. I think we do 10 here total. And then we do our circles. I think we're doing five each direction. So. Le yep, levitating, not levitating, <laughs> hovering that leg up. We go down two and a three, four and a five. We go the opposite direction, down and around. And again, keeping those hips as stacked as possible. Shoulders too, relax from there. Okay, we're gonna do our fascial back swing. So we go knee, knee, flex to lengthen that leg behind you. We go knee, knee, flex it back. 
So yes, you're propped up on your elbow and that pressure is out of the shoulder. So you're really pushing into the mat. Elbow is down and pressing against the mat as well. Yes, and swing it back. Inhale, inhale, exhale, swing it back. Perfect, keeping that leg as parallel as you can. Beautiful, I think that's the last one. Go ahead and switch on to the other side. So yeah, take a little rest first. And now we're going to flip onto your other side, lengthening out that hand on top or over your head. We are stacking our hips, keep that bottom rib connection and we're lifting and lowering that top leg. So um, point to lift, flex to lower, lift and lower. Keep going, point to lift and lower. Beautiful. Making sure that the bottom rib cage is not stuck or sinking into the mat beside you. Now we're doing our circles. Okay, go ahead and hover the leg. We go down and around. Two, three, and a four. Do we do six? Five. And no, we just do five. Five and a four. Good. Three and two. Holding your pelvis still. Last one there. Good. Relax. We're going to do our fascial side kick. So we go knee, knee and kick the leg back. Knee, knee, flex to kick. Beautiful. <laughs> I just fell over there. Okay, kick, kick, and swing it back. Yeah, this one is hard to keep your balance. You're gonna try to keep the chest in the same position the whole time, but if you have to shift forward and backwards, that's all right. Let's, let's be okay with that. Just knee, knee, swing it back. Knee, knee, swing it back, making sure that your butt is firing as you swing that leg behind you. Perfect. And relax from there. Beautiful job. We are on our stomach now. We're going to do our, what are we doing? Leg pull front prep. So onto your hands and knees. We are lifting up the knees to hover and then lowering from there. So exhale, lift the knees up. Inhale as you lower. Good. Exhale as you lift it up and lower. And it's very small shift of the body. So Make sure that your butt doesn't really stick up in the air. We're just focusing on hovering the knees two inches off. Okay, and then we're gonna add to it in just a second. So go ahead and lift up, hold it there. We're gonna do stutter kick LPFP. So we go out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. So pretty quick range or pretty quick um, movement of the legs. Just keeping your hips at the same level pretty much. Actively press through those shoulders the whole time there. Yes, we go out, out, in, in, and out, out, in, in. I know this is very intense. You're gonna feel it in your legs. Yeah, relax from there. Nice work. Okay, we're going to move on to our stomach. So you're going to lay on your stomach. So have your fingertips underneath the forehead. Elbows are wide. You're going to lift your upper chest into a hover and pedal your feet behind you, keeping those legs in parallel, kind of level to your, or in line with your sits bones. So just Switching up and down, alternating each time, keeping your butt pressing into the mat in front of you. Yes. Press that pubic bone into the mat as well. All right. Take a little rest in a second. Okay. Hands and knees again. We're going to do our undulating cat cow. So it's kind of hard to explain, but it's easier to just watch. But as you can see, you're tucking your tailbone, shift the body forward, stick your butt out, and then shift the body back. Um, just go ahead and keep going with this motion. Nice. Shift the body back, tuck and roll it forward. Beautiful. Making sure that you're getting that nice ab engagement as well. Okay. And now we're going to move on to our stomach again. Let's do our shoulder hip stretch. So you're going to swing your opposite hand towards the opposite foot behind you. So here's what the feet are doing. You're just kicking your opposite butt and you're gonna swing your leg to reach towards the opposite foot, same side for a few reps here. Yep, and you're just kind of swinging your hand or gliding your hand across the floor to hit that other foot. And if this does not work out coordination wise, you can just kick your opposite butt or just do the arm swings. Same thing, you're just getting that nice swinging motion through that extension of the spine. Oh, sorry, I'm just stumbling over my words today. Okay, now we're shifting the body so I don't hit the wall. Okay, opposite leg and hand from here. Swing and release and swing and release. Beautiful, maintaining that butt 
Contraction into the mat in front of you. Perfect swing and release. Last one here, almost. Yes, all right, go ahead and grab that opposite foot and just hold it there. So go ahead and give that a try, swing it out. All right, so yes, you're swinging, er, there we go. Swing and hold, there we are. I'm just gonna lift my shirt up, there we go. Okay, hold it, just stretch out there. You can lift your foot off or a little bit higher to get a deeper stretch. And let's do the other side. Swing the opposite leg to your opposite hand and hold the stretch, pressing through that foot to get even deeper in through that hip flexor. All right, what are we doing next? It is gonna be our cat-cow crawl. Yeah, so you're going to extend your back as you step, oh, that was me getting confused. Okay, don't do that. We're gonna step forward as you extend and curve back. Extend and step forward, curve it back. Yes, once you get the rhythm down, it makes a lot more sense, but yeah, just getting into it is the hardest part. Yes, keep that rhythm going. We're almost done and we're done, okay. We're going to come up to standing for a second and we're just gonna come back down onto your hands and feet. So we're gonna just swing the arms forward and catch yourself down at the bottom and do this nice tiger bounce. So we're curving through the spine as you jump forward and then come back to your neutral. There we go, ready? We're going to curve and extend, tuck and extend, tuck back to neutral, perfect. You can keep, I don't know why I lower my butt so much here, but you can keep your knees bent a little bit more in towards your body and curve. There we go, I fixed it. And tuck and release and tuck, release, keep going. Release and tuck. Beautiful. This one, yeah, gets you so fast. Hopefully you're sweating by now. If not, that's okay. Do it again. <laughs> do the whole workout over. Just kidding. You can do a different one of mine if you want. Okay, now doing our roll down push up. So you're starting off to the side of the mat. Hands down by your sides. I know that light just poked out. Nod and curve through the spine. And we're just going to do our swings through the arms. We're swinging. So that was my prototype, but now I realize if you swing both at the same time, it works even better. So swing your arms side to side, just getting an even more of a fascial release there in your back. Okay, finding your center. Yep, we're gonna walk the hands out. Three, two, one, pause there. We're bending through the arms in three little steps. So three, release, and the two and stretch, last one. I don't go all the way down for my push-ups just because my, sca my scapula um, need to be stabilized a little bit better. I'm still working on that, but go again. Nod and curve through. Swing and release and a swing and release. Perfect. All right, back to center in a second. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear this shirt again. Okay, walk forward, three, two, one, and release. We go for a three and press and a two. Release, last one. Beautiful, hinge the hips back, walk out, back up and roll through the spine. And we are done for the day. Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for working out with me. I will see you in our next video. And if you want to do another one, here is our latest workout. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you soon. Thank you so much, love you, bye.